Good afternoon to every one of you, and thank you so much for being here. Luckily, the rain uh, is, fi is fine now. There is no rain, despite the uh, weather alert. Okay. Um, we, make we will do a minute of silence uh, because uh, Norovillian has passed and will pass the voice to us. One of our dear brothers, Bernard Bog, he passed away yesterday afternoon. And before we start the proceedings of the day, I wish that you'll join us in a two-minute silence to pay homage to the departed soul. Thank you. I introduce myself. My name is Bianca. I am a newcomer and I'm also a life coach. I'm here in Auroville since two years and my soul brought me here like a lot of you. Um, from the moment I arrived, I had the I had the great opportunity of working with a lot of people uh, through my work, through life coaching. And uh, at the beginning, I... I had the great opportunity of working with many people in Auroville, Aurovillians, guests. And at the beginning, I had the impression that there was um, a distrust in some people uh, about the possibility of moving forward, of uh, relaunching the dream, not the dream, but the aspiration of changing things. And then at some point, I found out that there was a powerful energy uh, boiling, I, <laughs> I can say, in many, many hearts here in Auroville. Uh, and I found out that there is this, not only aspiration, but a great desire and commitment to work for the change. So mm, some of us, after the meeting with the secretary, uh, Dr. Gianti, uh, we felt the need to reaffirm the uniqueness of Auroville and of us uh, and to work together and finding, finding solutions and proposals to, to, to work concretely for the dream to come true. Okay, we, we want to make this meeting as a wake-up call. Uh, so we will mm, present, we will introduce, or, or mm, someone may j already know, s an instrument that is Siru. Uh, someone knows some, yeah, what is zero? And I found that someone doesn't know absolutely or has confused ideas. So we think that this is a, a great instrument to convey uh, the possibility of 
working on projects, on proposals to move forward and to work all together for the change to come and the dream to come true. So to have a good attitude to start with our meeting, we will have an invocation chanted by Abaya Ravindas and this chorus. And I ask them please to sing for us. Thank you. We will invoke with Shirvindo's Gayatri Mantra, which I think many of us are familiar with among you also. We did that for 15th of August. So those who know it, join us. Those who don't, listen. And uh, the translation of that Gayatri Mantra is, let us meditate on the most auspicious form of Savitri, the light of the Supreme, that shall illumine us with the truth. This is a mantra by Sri Aurobindo. Give the word and the, the voice to Pashi. Hundred and fiftieth birth anniversary of Shabindo has triggered. 
certain idea of how to celebrate, where institutions, associates, friends, all over the world are coming up with different ideas how to do the celebration. Normally, when we want to honor a son or the daughter of the nation, the celebrations take shape and form in terms of statues, in terms of seminars, conferences, and sometimes long-term institutions. Statues, we garland them, give all the emphasis on the ideals that great personality has made available to us, and then we forget it, becomes a routine. Similarly, conferences and seminars have a momentary relevance, but then soon enough it's forgotten in the hub of our normal activities. Institutions created lost a little longer, but as the time passes, such institutions have the tendency to forget the ideals that that great personality had shared with us to go forward. It is in this context that one of the ideas that emerged has been named as multiversity. Perhaps it resonates with the present situation of Auroville and some of the parents and the youth perhaps find that that is the direction to take. This has inspired us today to come and look at our own journey, which inspired us to come and participate in this adventure of consciousness called Auroville. So today, what we want to do is to go back to the beginning of journey, look at what are the inspiring directives given by the founder, the mother of our world. How have we understood it in terms of the physical planning and manifestation? And to see if we can reflect seriously as to where we are today, examine and see how we can realign ourselves with the original inspiration that brought us here. With that, I wish to draw your attention, particularly in this case, as we are starting to discuss with multiversity. Because children in Auroville are an integral part of this experiment, and the most important one, because some us who have come earlier are perhaps the carpenters and the plumbers and the mechanics to get it going physically. But children are the future, and it's the children that we have to provide the necessary ambience and atmosphere for them to grow into knowledge that brings them forward into the generations who come for the city to be what mother intended what she Abindo wants us to work towards. An evolutionary process where every aspect of our life, whether it is physical, mental, vital, psychic, spiritual, are all geared and focused to this growth of what we intend eventually to hope will happen in the human unity. That is the theme of our will. In this context, I want to draw your attention, go back please, to the dream that was the starting point of this project. When mother says, in this place,
maybe. Titles and positions would be replaced by opportunities to serve and in this place, the children would be able to grow and develop integrally without losing contact with their souls. Education would be given not for passing examinations or obtaining certificates and posts, but to enrich existing facilities and bring forth new ones. Please. Next one. And then when she gives us the charter, <laughs> it's interesting that when she says, Arobel belongs to nobody in particular, Arobel belongs to the humanity as a whole, but then she underlines a very, very strong, emphatic statement. But to live in Arobel, one must be a willing servitor of the divine consciousness. That is the line that em emphasizes the responsibility that we take when we start this journey of this beautiful adventure. And then she goes on to say, Aro will be the place of an unending education of constant progress and youth that never ages. It is in this spirit that today we want to take this journey back to the beginning and realign with that thought and see how best we can move forward on that principle. Next one, please. We have recently been talking about 15,000 people. It is not a number that we want. It is a selection. It is not brilliant students that we want. It is the living souls. Next, please. In terms of education for Auroville, when we started an aspiration, these names came automatically to the mother. Last school, after school, super school, no school. We still carry on with the last school, <laughs> but we are far away from the other positions. In the meanwhile, next one, please. I just wanted to tell you a funny things that happened yesterday. We were preparing the presentation, and we put this slide. It is uh, something written by the mother. And I created the slide, and then I tried to see as a presentation, and then the slide disappeared. Then I created four times, and I duplicated, and never it appeared on the presentation. Then we asked what was happening, what is that? And after, so we prepared this another one exactly the same because we weren't sure that it was appearing today and then this morning we wake up we woke up and the, it was there so we asked ourselves what is the reason of this maybe it's a message of mother saying you have to work on school <laughs> in a different way i don't know <laughs> next one please next one you see, this takes us back to when mother finally decided in 65 to appoint Roger as the chief architect of this project. 700. <laughs> so whether we have planned or we have not planned, it is happening in any case with her grace. Then when we come to this aspect of the work, because it is known, well-known mother's wish that all of us should do collective work minimum five hours a day. If Sundays we want to take off at least six hours a day, what should be the work? It starts in 69 with this idea, which was fu fully understood by the mother and Roche in that sense. 
production of goods, 30%. Services, 45%. Cultural activities, 25%. It goes on like this in all these areas. And this is a reminder that perhaps we have somewhere on the way slightly deviated from these ideas and so on and so forth, and now is the time to try and realign because suddenly this 150th anniversary, birth anniversary of Shah Bindu has brought a new hope, a new wave, and a new dimension and a new energy. And if we have to take full advantage of this energy to move forward, we cannot crawl anymore, we have to leap forward. In that context, next please. In terms of formal or informal education, which is the subject of uh, our prime concern today, parents and as well as the youth, even from the very beginning, there are two aspects that were already provided. The one here, what was at that time called the University of Peace. Next one, please. And another one was what was called the Technical College. Both of these find their expression also in today's master plan. So in terms of the formal education, certain age is necessary so that the child gets geared to understanding the language, to understand the various subjects, and so on and so forth. And then the child is encouraged to explore, explore with the mentors, and not essentially a classroom. And in this direction, some of the, the children, when they grow up, they would like to go into furthering their knowledge in researches, and so on and so forth. And for that, you have, in common terms, we call it a university. In terms of our will, we call it from the University of Peace. It eventually, after consultations, first with the mother, then Roger had an associate, Kirit Joshi. Between the two of them, one was an educationist, associated with the ashram and the mother very deeply, they arrived at finally a name called Center of International Research in Human Unity. Its broad theme sometimes confuses most of us. So today we felt that we want to share with you the physical design of that place to give you an idea that it does not either exclude or eliminates or overlooks the possibility of that knowledge that the young people have to acquire to become the researchers and the future citizens of our world. At the same time, many of the children, as we know, they essentially do not want to go into higher studies or in researches and want to be skilled in certain professional activities as such. So both these provisions are here. The only thing is perhaps in our busy activities of life to life struggle and so on and so forth, we have missed out on these points and our idea today is to draw your attention to this once again and to re-emphasize gather our forces together to come forward and build the city as it is being promised now, also with the support that is coming from various sources, including government of India. Thank you. Next one. In the current master plan, education and culture, international studies and humanity, Indian and East-West culture, synthesis of knowledge, art, crafts, and technology. These are the aspects that Siru, at the level of higher education, so-called higher education and research, would be able to 
provide. Next one, please. Now I hand it over to Luigi to try and explain to you the manifesto. Thank you, Pashi. Yes, we have this important. Before you read that, I would like to read that. Uh, yeah. When I was coming to this meeting, I received a message from Aster, and I would like to share it with you. It's addressed to working committee, but she's asked me to read it out to you. Friends, allow me to share some perceptions. Auroville has received increasingly, since early days, individuals, groups of students, teachers, and eminent personalities, artists in all fields from India and internationally for a lived experience that Auroville offers. Aruville aspires in Shira Windows 150th birth anniversary for a further widening of this circle it shares after the mother founded in 50 years ago the field of diverse activities with its soul, the Matri Mandir at the center. On going through the draft proposal of the multiversity, the structure presented with designations is not in residence with the field of experience such as Aroville holds, which is an ever growth of consciousness and its progressive expression in life with its manifold activities as a collectivity of humanity. The future calls for our, an ascending movement of the world's collective. It is an organic growth of the world spirit not to be held within the structured form of function and evaluations. Thank you. And this is, in fact, also finding an expression in our current secretary's letter that she's addressed specifically to the golden chain, the ex-students of ashram, and devotees and sons of the mother, which she will read it for you. So, uh, Secretary of Foundation, Dr. Jayanti, wrote, sent this letter, the 24th of November, to the Golden Chain Fraternity, the disciples, devotees, and children of the Mother. Auroville was founded with a charter and a city plan. Together, they provide the anchor for Auroville's re realization. In 1965, Mother chose her architect, Roger Ranger, to prepare a plan, guiding him for three years till he captured her vision. In January 1968, she put her signature on the galaxy plan as a mark of her approval. On, on the 7th February 1968, she wrote the Charter of Auroville. On the 28th Feb of February 1968, at the inauguration ceremony of Auroville, the galaxy plan was displayed with the message written with her own hand. Um, can you put the slide? Yeah, this is what I'm reading. La conscience divine manifestée par l'unité humaine. The divine consciousness manifested through human unity. The first study aimed at a master plan based on the galaxy plan was prepared in 1969 by the chief architect in consultation with the mother. It was finalized as the general plan in 1970 and is the basis of the Oroville master plan. Master plan based on the original concept given by the mother was finalized by Oro Future the Oroville Planning and Development Office, and passed by the Residence Assembly of Oroville in 1999. The Governing Board of Oroville Foundation and the HRD Ministry of Government of India approved and revised version in April 2001, the Oroville Universal Township Master Plan, Perspective 2025, 
This plan was notified in the Government of India Gazette in August 2010. Matrimandir is in place, radiating its power of divine love to all humanity. The task of building the city is long overdue. The new governing board of the Oroville Foundation has informed the Oroville residents after their first meeting on the 2nd of November 2021 that implementation of the Oroville Township in accordance, can you change the slide? With Oroville Master Plan must be accelerated and strongly express their wish to see the mother's dream fulfilled without further delay. It is time for all of mother's children to come together to physically manifest her vision of the city at the service of the truth. We solicit the goodwill and help of all to make her dream come true. This is particularly special and imperative now, given that this year marks the 150th anniversary of Sri Aurobindo. All well-wishers and friends of Oroville who want the who have the time, energy, inclination, and all and or the means and resources to support, participate, help in the construction of the City of Don are invited to get together under the beloved Banyan at the very center of Auroville on Sunday, 12th December 2021. The program will be from 9 to 9.30 a.m. concentration under the Banyan. From 9.30 to 10.30 a.m., the tea at a Unity Pavilion. From 10.30 to 12.30, presentation of the master plan and discussions. And then from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m., lunch. In the meantime, we list below some of the projects that will be taken up for implementation in Auroville in the immediate future. The main project for Auroville, land procurement for the city area, Matrimandir Gardens Completion, Matrimandir Lake, Matrimandir Reception Pavilion, Township Basic Infrastructure Backbone, such as energy, water, mobility, communication, etc. Residential Zone Development, target 15,000 residents by 2025. Educational Facilities in the Cultural Zone. If you would like to offer your expertise in any field for the planning and development of the Auroville Township, please let us know. Auroville needs project managers, project managers, engineers, urban designers and planners, ecologists, botanists, mobility experts and other expertise and skills, young volunteers who would like to participate in and offer their energy to this endeavor as interns of six to 12 months or longer are welcome. Boarding, lodging and stipend will be provided as support. Should you need any further qualification or coordination, you may feel free to contact any of the following. Arun Herman, Saro Mezzetti, Shrimoy, Toby Newman, Tuan Van Megan, and there are their addresses. We look forward to seeing you at this special and joyful coming together on the 12th of December 2021 at 9 a.m. under the Matrimandir Banyan tree. Transportation will be organized for those in need of it. Please respond to office at goldenchainfraternity.org or gsavf at auroville.org.in. With warm regards, your sincerely, sincerely Jayanti Ravi. We seem to be on the same page. No. We seem to be on the same page. But the devil is always in the detail. Whilst we are asking the entire world to come and support this activity. What? Can, can, we, can we just go further a bit, allow us? As I said, the devil is in the detail. We came here basically accepting the responsibility to be the ones who deliver. 
And I think the time has come for us to come in the forefront, take the responsibility, and receive whatever help we can. But it is we have the right and the obligation to interpret how the city has to develop in that aspects that would make it a city that other cities may have to even physically follow and not go into the rut of just developing a habitat which has no relevance to the spirit of our will. We will like to discuss this and share with you after the presentation is over during the time of discussions when you can give your points and we can move forward collectively because it is only reminding us that where we are and how we have to go forward. Thank you. Yeah, in fact, uh, we will come back. I understand, I understand that there are a lot of questions, a lot of implication, and uh, we will come back to this letter of Madame Gianti in during the discussion. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, an appeal to the facilitator. I, I have five minutes. Can I beg uh, five, ten minutes more? Because, uh, okay, I give all the presentation in five minutes. No problem. <laughs> no problem, no problem. You want to say something? I just wanted to say that now we have the presentation of the Siru, then we will have a, a little pause with another chant uh, of the uh, Aravinda, and then there will be the debate. Uh, so questions and answers and uh, proposals, we will tell you all those things. Uh, can we? Huh? Thank you. You are very generous. Uh, uh, can we? Aravind, you are there. Can we, at 10, 15, can we have the chanting? Okay. Yeah, I got five minutes more. Okay. Uh, yes, in fact, we will focus on researches which uh, uh, are really the fusion of material, the spirit and matter. Next, please. These are the contents, but let's not go through because we have to cut off a lot of things, otherwise we'll never make it. This is an exceptional picture, but it's not fully visible. It's the inner chamber. Quickly, Pino put the, the camera, uh, stayed there for four or five minutes, and that is the picture who came up with that energy. And that energy is extraordinary. Yeah? Okay. Next. We will go through this all quickly because there is an historical background where the inspiration of Siru, of education, came from the ashram. But we cannot go into detail. We just mentioned that Sri Aurobindo book on supramental manifestation upon earth as looks to the future leaders which are not self-service but which are at the service of humanity and in the agenda we have the unique guidance for the transformation of our own bodies and our own cells. Next. Here are the what has grown in the ashram. Next please. The ashram itself. Yes. Sorry if I have to jump. Next. And uh, uh, the beautiful uh, experience which has grown because we interact with many of the students which come every year from knowledge, thanks to Sri Moy. And uh, really they are jewels and also very much performing wherever they go in India or abroad. Next. Yes, that is an important passage. The permanent university will be the key of Auroville raison d'etre the University of Human Unity, that said at the very beginning, and Roger wrote it by hand in his notebook. Next. Let's go. Let's go to the next, because we all know that there is an aspiration to promote from inside research, development, studies, because this is one of the main functions of our will. Next, please. Yeah. These few walls, Siru will be a hub 
for all the true researchers in the world searching for an environment favorable to pure knowledge as well as applied research, no separation, but unity of spirit and matter once again through experiential learning. Next, please. Okay, let's go quickly through this. And here we will look into experience of very unique of our will, which are really give the identity and character of what we are going through. I am proud of it. Some people say that Auroville has failed. No, Auroville has not failed. At the contrary, it's one of the community in the world which is strong rooted. We have not achieved the strong objectives given, but Auroville is growing and I believe very much that it will grow more and more through applied research. Next, please. Next. Here, specialist Andrea Camarata on beams, and uh, which are new technology to uh, uh, take care of the maintenance of building. I will not elaborate. Next. This is a business, a business and consciousness workshop where we, at the moment we were looking, can we have a new type of economy with a different mechanism, which is not the one which is today. Let's not forget that mother wanted no circulation of money and we have to work towards this. Next. Yes, this it was a beautiful Youth uh, for Human Unity conference sponsored by UNESCO. Splendid, I will not elaborate. Next. And uh, we have representative of eight, nine religions and the youth. There were youth invited from the Sark region and we have also Pakistani. At the end of this week, they were crying and embracing Indian youth and Pakistani youth. I am still remembering those moving moments. Next. And a morning with 301 birds, pigeons, taken from the markets around. What an adventure. They were in boxes, closed. And in the morning, we open up and children and adults free them. But you know what happened? In a split second, they all fly and group together and turn around Matri Mandir. Even today, I am shivering because could we do something like this as human? Imagine we free people from jail. Can you, they group and go to the temple? I doubt. So it was an incredible uh, teaching from nature. Next. Okay, presentation of Syria have taken place at UNESCO, at the World Congress of Philosophy in Istanbul, at the Club of Budapest. Let's move on this. And we had uh, Irina Bukova. Irina Bukova, director of UNESCO, came here, and it was the moment we were exploring the world heritage status for Auroville, a world heritage status. And their advice coming from them, it was surprising to me. It was, you have to apply not because Amatri Mandira, the ways we make another temple, not because of a certain landscape beauty. No, you have to apply because you are a hope of humanity. And uh, as, as a symbol, as a symbol, of mankind for human unity. Wow, that UNESCO, we had it fully with us. According to me, we have to take it up again, not to have a status for our uh, show, no, but for, to keep this hope for humanity. Next. And then a lot of training has taken place. Next, local outreach, yes a lot of international meeting of all type. Next, a conversation. We had conversation also on specific team with uh, uh, elderly Aurovillian who took up a team. What is Karma Yoga? What is uh, uh, Sri Aurobindo core message and so on and so on. Next, conversation on other teams in, uh, in Auroville in many different formal or informal ways, yes. 
and the interaction with the Russian students we mentioned. And from time to time, we have some of them which come. Even recently, following Srimoy, the, the last presentation, some of them are willing to come up. Next, the famous stand, which is still uh, remembered till today, a moment of joyful coming together at many levels, yes. And promotion of workshops in uh, special team, urban planning and spirituality, consciousness in medicinal plants, next. And this is an important moment of during the 12-12 three-day workshop where we focus into the quality of mother symbol, which we can apply at individual level as well as group level. Next. And here is a presence from Arul Vazi. Yes, school. Next. Okay, quickly. Yes. <laughs> they applied research. And I, this doesn't honor the many applied research which are done in Avroville, either by one single person, but so, with so much dedication, inspiration, and challenges, but also by groups. This is what will build Avroville, really applied research when it's inspired by the dream. And it touches not only the physical aspect, but it is also our sociological aspect, like can we move towards a society without exchange of money? Can we accelerate in a soft way, not in a violent way, the development of the city? Can we have a dialogue between build up city and environment? We have so many challenges. Next. The Bima Bamboo, very few people knows, but this is a in very interesting ongoing research which Pashi is carrying and is surprising. You can see the difference between hollow bamboo and so filled up bamboo. I will not go, but it's a lovely team going on positively. Next. And so many from organic, organic agriculture, this zero concept dentistry, and the creative activities, endless, endless. Next. Yes, the applied research on architecture, many technology, many approaches, which make the uniqueness in the, of Avroville. And where many university are sending from India, plenty are sending their students as intern or as a young architect. Next, please. Here dreaming of the green city. You see, there is a passage in the charter which fascinates me, and it says, taking advantage from discoveries from within and without, Alvroville will boldly spring towards future realization. One of those is the present world trend towards green building. Many times. But our next 50 years, what about promoting a different type of architecture and landscaping, but not only just putting plants in the building, also blue and green infrastructure of the most innovative time, type. This, for me, it's a, all this bringing towards the future one, in one aspect. This is Citadine 3, 3 not as number, but 3 as a 3. Next. Yes, urban farming on top with rooftop, rooftop garden, and so on and so on. Next. Huh? I have to explain what? Of course, they understand. No, you have understood that this is a projection but is in the pipeline to be realized soon. And I hope we will see more daring projects. Yes.
a number of researches, uh, masters, doctorates have been done through uh, communication to people which were here and some were not here. Several beautiful studies and uh, PhD have been done. Next, here is in contact Lila Siru with a group from Senegal, a member of the family of Dudu Dien. Some of you may remember Dudu Dien from Senegal. Next, yeah, they are studying some plan. Next, and studies, internal study, very interesting on which I want to relance today of putting together the dream experience of people who are in a spiritual search. It will be very interesting. Yes, next. The studies on the genesis of our will. Yes. Next, please. And let's not go through all this, but there is a good, interesting passage that the call for project that we want to promote today it touches all the field of our will. These are only some, like uh, integral education, creative culture, integral planning and development, innovative architecture, environmental care, renewable energy, organic farming and healthy food, sustainable regional development, integral healing, the fraternal economy. And we have to move on that. Communication of the future. What is that? transformational networking, network with people and the institution around the world which want a change. The call for project which we want to convey to you today, it's about coming up from within of project which really represent Avrovile identity, Avrovile exploration and applied research in all fields, not only in education, but they can contain educational aspects. We will elaborate after. Next, we are coming close to the conclusion, Bianca. Yes, the inspiring minds and hearts, Roger and Kirit by. Yes, next. And the evolution of the plan. Yeah, here it was the habitat at the beginning. This is the 12 uh, administrative center, but administrative is very poor expression. It's more the chakra, the center of energies of the building of the city and the activities and Siru. Next. Then it evolved into this design. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, next, I think this one was presented to Rajiv Gandhi. Yes. Next. Yeah, the beautiful young Aurovillians, next. And two options are now in, in phase, uh, which we have facing and working on. The big one, next. Yeah, it's coming from the sketch of Roger, next. Yeah, located in here. Next, please. In the axis of Matrimandir, Banyan, Garden of Unity. In this axis, it could be located. Next, please. Yeah, and it's incredible because it's a movement of water interacting with the lake. The engineers were very happy for this. Yes, Suleika, thank you. Next, uh, another floor and uh, a space for uh, researcher and big workshop. Yes, Pashi, what are you indicating? Yeah, okay, but uh, I must have permission from that lady, huh? Can I have it? Arrival information, okay. Panoramic promenade, the hotel for the people, for the professor and so, auditorium and trans, and an auditorium for 2,000 people. We are speaking big here. The exhibition place, the, the space for uh, uh, laboratories and so on, panoramic terrace. Yes, next please. This is one of the drawing, yes, next, yes. Oh, one thing, very quickly. Here there will be a cascade of water into the lake. The micro, a cascade into the lake, three meter high, 110 meter long, because that was the way Roger envisaged a cascade, which was not possible. 
water fall into the garden, and then he make it this, which could be a fantastic expression. Next, option two, more close to today potential, because this is a very big project, which by the way, Rajiv Gandhi wanted to finance. Twice he called Kiribati, and he said, where is that international project? Yeah, yeah, it's there, but it costs a lot of money. I will fund it. He felt the importance of this type of center which will make the bridge between India and the world. That it was really something. But today we have what Pashi inspiredly called the key. One minute, yes, the key. Next, please. Where in this key, the activities to promote research, to interact between the research and to prepare, uh, to unfold the energy can be located, can have a roof. Next. One thing I want to make it clear. Some people misunderstand that zero is only a building and this and that, not at all. Building is necessary to create proper activities, but the main things is to promote the endless number of researchers in Avroville, and we are coming within, within one minute, <laughs> stretch one minute. We are coming to the form which we would like to distribute, proposal form, very simple. We don't want to make it too bureaucratic, but where people, your dreams or dreams of a group can be formulated, budget, giving a time frame, and presented for the time being. And we invite you to come up and help this initiative actively, because this has to be managed properly. For the time being, there are the forms somewhere, somewhere there, Suleika, you have it. So you ask Suleika in case you have some project to give you the form and return it to Bianca. Don't send it to me. <laughs> okay, but this is a way to call, this is a call for project to see that from within in our will comes the energy for development. That is the one of the reasons of today. Next, we are next to conclusion. This is our future. This is our future. Here you can see Pondicherry, the city center, the residential zone, Matrimandir, but this is where not only building have to come up, but a city who pulls safe with a different energy. Next. I want to conclude with this because for me it's a mystery. No, at UNESCO, here we are at, in Paris at uh, UNESCO headquarters. They have never in all the existence of UNESCO allow one statue. Yeah. The next invocation, I read the meaning, and I think again many of you probably know it, so you can join. And it translates as, lead me from the unreal to the real, lead me from darkness to light, lead me from mortality to immortality. Om Asato Ma Sadgamaya Tamaso Ma Jyotir Gamaya Brityor Ma Amritam Gamaya Om Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma amritam gamaya, om. Asato ma sadgamaya, Tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma 
अमृतम गमय ओ Okay, we open the dialogue, the conversation, the question and an questions and answer. Uh, Silvana will give the microphone to ones that have some questions or statements or whatever you want to give us contribution, please. Good afternoon. My name is Sophie. I was very surprised when someone forwarded me this letter of the Secretary of the Foundation to the Golden Chain, since as a resident of uh, the Resident Assembly of Oroville, I haven't been contacted before, I haven't been talked about this project, and I'm feeling very uh, uh, puzzled by this letter that the Secretary of the Royal Foundation decided that we need people from outside to build our city, that she has a whole program without even consulting the resident first. So I would like some light on this. You remember I said, it appears that we are on the same page, but the devil is in the detail. And that's exactly what you're pointing out because it has been overlooked the fact that we really have to take on the responsibility and decide, and not people who will come from outside and force us. They will come to help if they want to, in the best possible manner. But basically, it is our responsibility, and we have now to take that responsibility, in fact. So far, why this has happened is because we have avoided to take the responsibility. Resident Assembly has not come forward and has not been consulted. According to us, it is important that we, the residents, are fully informed in transparent manner so that we can know where we are going and how we can travel together with the cooperation and collaboration of others. But the main responsibility is ours. And this is the point that we have to necessarily emphasize. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm also uh, uh, in a concurrence with Pash, what Pashi said. We have pressure from outside, which risks um, sometimes to be arbitrary and artificial. And in this is pushing us to come from within and uh, propose an Auroville, which is <laughs> Auroville solution, yes, the world, but something which carries the spirit of Auroville. And we also, like you, we don't want something imposed on our field. But the moment is crucial. We are at crossroad, and that's why this meeting and this why this topic. Yeah, please. So you have read one letter, and uh, later posted in your own net, so everybody knew. I have received another letter, and other people have received another letter. And uh, uh, this letter is from the Dean of Pondi Central University, International Relations. And uh, it concerns the fact that uh, the Pondi University has been invited to have a memorandum of understanding with the foundation. This is the first line. But the second line is quite special. 
because uh, Auroville is defined as a national institution governed by the government of India. But I asked the working committee an explanation. The explanation was not coming. So I spoke with one of them. And uh, he said that they were themselves surprised and they were trying to find out what is this. So that was on Saturday. As now I've seen there are two of them, Shrimoy and Sauro. I would like to see whether finally they know, because in the meantime, I, I read in internet what is a memorandum of understanding in India. So it's not just an invite letter, it can also turn into a legal document. But the second bullet talks on fraud. So you have to be very careful because uh, first of all, uh, community doesn't know anything, but second, I cannot personally cannot believe that the dean of of Pondia University International Relations can write in something so gross. So I would like to know from where this comes. And above all, I want that this is rectified. Anyhow, out of that, uh, I started wondering if Auroville is a national institution governed by the government of India. It means that the act has been repelled or about to be repelled. So this member of the working committee told me, no, 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 uh, this has not happened. But then another thing that came out, and this is also co connected to the letter to, to the fraternity, these people have been given several points of the master plan and the ATDC will present to them First of all, not only we are not invited, but we don't even know anything. So the question arises that as long as the Auroville Foundation Act is alive, it is for the resident assembly to elaborate the master plan, but also to update it. And then it is for the governing board to approve or amend or whatever. Anyhow, this is the act. So how, we, how these things can happen? What is the resident assembly going to do and what the working committee is going to do? Thank you. Sauro, do you want to uh, say something? Or Srimoy, I don't know. Well, um, when Luigi gave me the proposed invitation, I told him that it was not a good idea to connect Ciro with Multiversity. Multiversity is a proposal that comes from outside. It has generated a discussion with a large meeting, a large participation next, uh, last week. There has been a draft which has been prepared for um, the as an act of parliament. This draft is going to be reviewed. The both Sayer and Working Committee has clearly say in the meeting that in their view, our will should not be mentioned in the draft and should not be the app of that multiversity. The point which uh, in that meeting itself, I refer myself to Ciro, is say rather than keep going on being on a reactive and negative, let's try to develop what we are doing, what are our, our original idea and mentioned Ciro in that context. And I had hoped that this meeting would be focused on why there is inter a scope of international zone, why there is a center for international university or human units inside the international zone, and how Auroville can take the initiative again. So that is, I would invite, I mean, for me, the way it has been formulated has lost the focus. I would invite to m make focus because it's true the resident assembly have been quite inactive in the past few in the past few years. It has been we have been perceived as a stagnating body, and that's why external agencies are intervening. So there are all these facts, like this letter of uh, the Dean University we have wrote to the foundation. We are waiting a reply. Let's see if they know something, and that that's it. And um, 
regarding the letter of the um, collaboration, now we have just posted as working committee a full a note in the Aronet that has been posted this afternoon. So I invite to everyone to go and read that note. I'm a bit surprised by the reactions. I understand certain uneasiness for certain passages, I can understand. But basically, it's a letter that invites to collaboration with the people who are studying in the ashram, who have been donor of Auroville, to try to cooperate and support fundraising for getting the land for Auroville, getting the infrastructure, and getting the houses. So should we discuss this? The fact that we are in discussion, that we are surprised that this, this type of letter means that uh, we have lost a bit focus. That is uh, what to get land to make uh, to make efforts to build housing, to build infrastructure should be our primary scope, our own primary initiative. It's not something that we have to go and ask around every every minute all around permission to raise funds for land or for developing the city. So that is why, again, I go back to what I said been less focus on being proactive of being initiated to come from our own. Of course, there are incoming arrows from outside. We have to deal with it, but let's our focus being on what we are able to regenerate and mobilize our own forces inside Arville as a member of our region. As Pasi said, as people who are resident of Arville, we are the primary responsibility to develop this place. Thank you, thank you, Sauro. Okay, my name is Sandira, and what comes up for me is actually, uh, I do see that the resident assembly is a very sleeping body, and what comes up for me is actually you are asking to f uh, fill up forms for proposals for the future, but I'm wondering, do you have any database what's alive already? We have so many projects which are going on, and we have to gather our um, power and see what we are already doing and come together and start to actually execute this in a much wider field. So I'm wondering, do you have a database? Are you planning to have a database? Because I think when we are realizing what's going on in different sectors of our society and see each other more properly, because I think we are not realizing what we have. So naturally a power comes up and then we kind of developing out of what is alive already, we are developing a power for the future. But if we are hanging something like we have an ideal uh, of creating something, it's kind of airy fairy. But if it's grounded in what we have, it will have much more power. And then we can also uh, show to the outside w what we are, what we can give, what we what there is already. And I'm just wondering what's what's going on in this regard. Yeah, I want to reply to that. Thank you, Sandira. Uh, I it was my opinion at the beginning when I and when I found uh, wrote read about Siru uh, uh, that there was a, a lack of communication not only in Siru but in Norville somehow because people don't know what the others are doing and there is a lot going on. I, I absolutely agree with you. There are a lot of wonderful, beautiful projects that uh, no, not all the residents know about. So uh, I prepared uh, a proposal of communication strategic plan to create a database of all the existing uh, things that have, have been done. And from that, uh, going moving forward to collect uh, the existing ones, the project already existing and others that may arise from that. And we are working together, absolutely. Uh, not necessarily uh, as an umbrella that wants to do everything, but together, I absolutely agree. So uh, our uh, proposal was for those who are not having someone who can help to develop the project, they can send 
uh, apply the form and uh, send ideas and let it, uh, letting us know what is what are the projects undergoing so we can communicate, we can share and facilitate the communication and maybe finding uh, to find uh, partners, fundings, I don't know. So this is our ideas. There is a, a common place where we can meet all together and share the wonderful uh, ideas that are or that exist already but then there may be other things that can be developed so the call to action was that let's see who we are what we can do what we can give to the outside world as unique place unique identity and then develop all together this this was the idea for this meeting in fact to communicate that uh, Sandina, you are welcome, along with other people who are interested, because all has to be built up. I don't care about a name, Siru, not Siru, doesn't matter. We are Eurovillians who try to build the next step if there is a response. If there is not a response, I go to the beach, we go to the beach, but the potential and the responsibility which passing means and that we know in our soul that the reason why we have been called here calls for a commitment that we have never seen before only in certain moment and i tell you and in this we have to rebuild completely the the sense of a, a movement forward otherwise we got stagnating and as our rightly mentioned Arrows will continue to come, and not only arrows, heavy stuff. I would like to, so my invitation is not only for Sandira, but for any of you who can help in responding to this, in to organize and focus. But in response to Sauro, I would like to say, we are at an incredible crossroad, and what is has started here is only the beginning. It's only the beginning. The years to come, we have to be strong, we have to be gentle because, and vigilant because we feel that some of our working group are in the beginning have missed vigilance. Well, we get excited with this and that, and then when you see the legalistic aspect, it can be a disaster for our world. Point is, one, years ago, on the same team, our will is under the dependencies uh, department, department of the government, we went to two constitutional lawyers. You may remember the name, Soli Sorab and the other one. They fall in a remand, top constitutional lawyers. And we have still their uh, report consistent legal report which analyzes very well what are the responsibility of the government, what are the responsibility of the residence assembly and its representative, the working committee. What comes out is, first, Auroville is an autonomous statutory body. Am I correct in the definition? Autonomous statutory body is not a body of the government. Otherwise, what is the sense to make a, 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 an act of parliament? And this we have to stand behind because there will be many challenges down the road. And the working committee and other groups, they should, I know it's not easy, but they should call the residents of Auroville because we have to stand united not to protect in the name of our freedom, easy, no, but to protect the identity of our will, the possibility of creativity. And here is the beginning. So the question, and I conclude on this, is why we don't say only no to a proposal which large number of Avrovillians have felt artificial, it's because we want also to say yes, but if that yes doesn't come, then we open the door to something which may not be good for our people. Passion, you want to add something? Uh, my name is Ram Narayan. Um, I see it is a very important point, and we are 
the residence assembly is not consulted and there is a very serious concern. But uh, on this serious concern, how many of us from the community are here to address that? And uh, in our community, we are uh, also residence assembly is not functioning and we are divided, not only divided, but multi-divided. And there is a saying in Sanskrit where when two people quarrel, the third takes the advantage. So when we are multi-divided, it is like this. When the proposals of like this come, it is also certain Aurobillians who are uh, behind this. So we have to strengthen our uh, cells and Res residence assembly and uh, um, for your information you will be uh, surprised to know that recently there is a letter from Orville Foundation asking that to give the uh, uh, assets that is built with the government fund for the foundation staff and the housing board is yielding to it. So there are many things and there are also some Aurovillians who are responsible for saying this and behind the foundation. So this is something and the other things are also there. We need to see as a, and we have to have a common voice. And in the parliament act that you see, not that everything or anything that the foundation can do, there is a limitation to that. We can also go through that and as you say we have to have legal consultation very strong legal consultation how to give proper direction to the uh, uh, whole thing and the resident assembly the power, uh, the power is that given that should be protected thanks Yeah, when Luigi said that is an autonomous body. Autonomous statutory body. Yes. To the point uh, that this is something I discuss very often with Srinivasa Murti. Yeah. They are not the employees of the government. They have no pension, they have no right whatsoever. So when they stop working, they must have saved money throughout their life because they will not get anything from the government. So it's absolutely impossible to declare Auroville an institu a national institution governed by the government of India, while even the employees of the Auroville Foundation are not. Can I, can I say something, if I may? This is not the moment or the occasion to go into the legalities because we know that there are so many misinterpretations even of the Foundation Act and in action, responsibilities and authorities are all so mixed up that we have created a complete confusion. And this is exactly where I say, we have not been able to realize the fact that Foundation Act was merely intended to provide a legal recognition to this beautiful experiment, but the experiment has to be carried out in the vision of the mother, and there is nothing stopping us to do that. We started arguing about who has the rights, according to me, it is not the question of rights, it's the question of the responsibility and the obligation to move forward for all the three constituents, whether it's a resident assembly, or it is a working committee, or it is the uh, governing board, or for that matter, even the advisory committee. We have to move forward and not get into the nitty gritty of legality to that extent. I think it is the goodwill that will move forward because we are all part and parcel of the same movement. That is how I see it. Maybe there are issues being misinterpreted and misrepresented by different people at different times. For the moment has come here, if we come forward as collaborators, I think all these differences that have been created will start disappearing because they are negative 
issues that keep coming up from our lower mental. Sorry to say that, but we have allowed ourselves to become what I call the modern Tower of Babel. We must realign ourselves with the original theme and with all humility, see where we have gone, have gone wrong, because we also need to do introspection of ourselves and our efforts. So for God's sake, I think we should not make it as an issue. This was brought out because an external force has come into play to force us to think how we can reorganize the education of our children in context of the Arubil spirit where everything is a living laboratory. Siru offers a possibility of even that stream of the children growing up and participating into higher knowledge base. So I think we intend to even talk with Sire on this subject and see how they can realign whatever they're doing now with the original spirit of education and how Siru can play a, its own role because Siru provides for all those researches in the physical sciences once we have a focal point in the physical because whenever you start an activity, you need two aspects. One is the content, which is the aspiration of how you want to do things. And the second is to have a place where you can express yourself. Siru, what has been displayed to you as a design is the place. And what we have to do is how we can bring the content, which is our responsibility. So with this, I would say that let's confine our today's conversations to the positive aspects of how we can realign with it, rather than go into too many legalities and nitty gritties, which is not our objective. Our objective is basically to awaken that discussion and debate, which takes us forward into the positive direction. Thank you. Hello, I'm Joseph. I'm, um, living in acceptance, and I happen to be an author, do research on what's going on in our view. And I, first of all, I appreciate very much your introduction on the institutes you're promoting. It, it, it reminds me a little bit on, on YouTube, all the, all the movies on, you, on our view on YouTube, how beautiful it is. And, how high our, all our aims are and the realization about that. My question is, you mentioned uh, conversation. I would like very much what you understand by conversation. Conversation about what? Yeah, conversation. Uh, I refer more to a debate or a dialogue because I would like very much, I'm not here doing, which is very noble, I appreciate very much, but I'm more concerned how you do it. Because for me, our will is a process and not a product. And I relate to the di uh, dialogue because I would like very much, there is an openness amongst us and discussing causes instead of symptoms because I'm here for 22 years, and I roll from one issue into another issue. And we will find a solution for the issues, whether we like it or not. But we never touch the cause, because the cause is something, needs a dialogue amongst all of us. Because I have some difficulties myself with the practice of sadhana, what mother wants. She shows me a road but I have to walk the road myself. And if I go on repeating, mother says, mother says, mother says, I, I have the, the impression that we are all having new gurus here who know it all the best. And each one is having their own views. And it reminds me on the 60s when the Gestalt therapy was there, then everybody was right and nothing happened. So my question only is, you call this an international institute. You want an international collaboration. I'm almost sure that within our reveal, we don't have the specialization to discover 
the malpractices what we are presenting to the outside world at the moment. Because I think sadhana is an extremely difficult yoga. It's not for everyone. And we are living here with 3,000 people. So I am not able to measure who is here right and who is here wrong. But I only see that there is a lot of misconception regarding mother's vision. And mother's vision, each and every time, every page I read on Sherabino and the mother, it's a slippery path. Each step forwards, two steps backwards. And I think when we are allow ourselves to have an internal dialogue where we can admit that maybe there's something wrong in our practice, then maybe we find a more easy solution for the difficulties we are facing than endlessly arguing, endlessly new discussions, new institutions, and not being able to integrate the old parts of what we have been doing. Thank you very much. Joseph has shared with me one of his latest publications. It was only a few days back, and I found it a fascinating reading of a person who is really a researcher. I would like to take this opportunity of saying that we do really do as far the content is concerned, need to develop a dialogue so that we know where we're going. And unfortunately, we have missed that point due to many other aspects and pressures that have developed historically in the growth of our will. If we are at the crossroads today, it is basically because of those external pressures to which we will not be able to answer positively. So as far as I'm concerned, Joseph, I agree with you, but this is something that has to take place by the people who are willing to participate in that dialogue. And more of the, us get into that dialogue, the more easy it would be for us to understand and to move forward. But thank you very much for bringing this point up. Thank you. Just one second to compliment Joseph, because this morning itself, Pashi read to me from your book, A Passage from Siru, and maybe <laughs> you have understood Siru better than us. <laughs> it was so inspiring. Thank you. You want, the, you want this one? I, I don't know if this is partly what Sauro was alluding to, because I have to say I completely appreciate the intent of what you have presented and proposed. But I found it also lacking focus. It was meditative, it was slow, it was lyrical, it was beautiful. There was zero sense of urgency or we need to step up to the plate. It was missing dynamism completely. So I feel like there's a whole energetic dynamic. And actually, I'm getting older. I kind of appreciate slow and meditative these days. But 20 years ago, no way. I would have been pulling my hair out with frustration at the pace of this, at the repetition and all of that. And I'm just giving it to you as feedback because I think this is great. I think it's important. I think Siru has a place. I think it could be a container for a lot of wonderful things. And oh my God, you have to do it like you're not intending to kind of put people to sleep, but you're intending to energize and be impassioned and have some you know, a sense of urgency, because when I hear that this meeting was called for all these outside people to come and build the city on December 12th, and I didn't hear about it until just now, I'm like, what? You know, so I think, uh, and no, I don't want to be, I mean, given who the letter was sent to, I'm sure they're all, you know, wanting to truly help, you know, but, 
yeah, I just wanted to give that feedback as in, in terms of, you know, we need the young people involved. We definitely need young people involved. And so just a bit more dynamism, energy, enthusiasm, you know, that kind of thing, I think would go a long way towards, you know, it's, it's I mean, I've, I've never really liked cheerleading, but they do play a role, you know, in the crowd. So that's all I wanted to say. Appreciation and... Appreciation yeah, this is what I felt when I read the for the first time uh, about the Siru that I didn't know. And I realized, oh my God, but this is something that people, if people could understand that this is a, an instrument, a tool to develop every, every possible thing together. Even if it's, there is not the name Ciro, it doesn't matter. But we can be together, young people, all everyone who has done something that is undergoing new ideas. Uh, and I thought, okay, we have to explain the resident, the people living here in Norville, young people, but also all the others, that it is, there is a possibility to do something more together. And I was enthusiast, so I, I proposed myself. I, I'm not in the zero. I, I have no, uh, upon, no, no charge of anything. So I'm, I am no one. But I felt the need and the urgency. Absolutely agree with you to do something to move people, to involve people, to feel that there is a possibility now. The energies are there. With my work, I met a, really a lot of people, quite 300 people since I'm here, and I touched the core, the hearts of the people, and I can assure you that there are a lot of people who want to do something different, to, to work for the change. So we decided to have this meeting to, uh, to to address people to to participate uh, in the not only not anymore the aspiration but the concrete work to change and to reach the dream this is wha what we thought there is someone else who want to say something yes oh. <laughs> very briefly uh, so we all feel it's open yeah. it's open <laughs> We feel all the enthusiasm. <laughs> so to come back to practical, uh, what is your vision? So we, we share, for example, we fill the, the form, we share it with you, and what is the next step? So, <laughs> Sorry to uh, be so practical. <laughs> so uh, yeah. to, uh, in order to create a common ground and to create a database or uh, to know at least in the beginning mm -hmm. what is happening, what are the new ideas, who are the people who want to involve themselves. So we need people to work on all the development in every field. You have seen all the different fields of activity. So we proposed for this moment, uh, we had a very few time to organize that, so we propose to create this form to put my email address, my number, that of Luigi for more information. So you can contact us, you can send us email, uh, WhatsApp, uh, proposal, ideas. And then from that moment, we can have uh, also us an idea to collect all what is happening or what is developing in Auroville. And then we can continue together finding the right way to, to move forward. So we, we are undergoing. <laughs> yes, yes. On the practical side, the soon we got answer, if they are there, the better, because we will structure that, we will structure them, we will give a proper form and approach working committee, approach the lady secretary, the approach whoever can be is trying to raise funds to see if there is support, but we don't want to uh, use this as a carrot to
to say, hey, it's easy, money is coming, we, we, everybody will get. No, far from it, because there are already ideas, there are already streams done, but we would like to put this on the table, the more consistent, the better, saying, hey, this is something which comes from the gr grassroots. This is something which comes from within. And that's all this component. That is what we hope. But we cannot promise the moon because it's not in our hand. Uh, what I wanted to add to my previous saying is that, uh, Ram Narayan, um, we have witnessed our potential, our possibilities, skills, and the values that we have grown with. And uh, we have those things to build the future and uh, give the proper shape. But at this moment, what occurs to me, you may uh, uh, excuse me if I say wrongly, is that there is a tsunami coming and we are uh, trying to um, uh, uh, vacate our houses or clean things or make uh, setups with the cycles. So there is a weak force. If I have re uh, heard uh, our uh, sec um, uh, chairman governing board and the, all the letters that are going on, it is a kind of tsunami. We have to prepare ourselves. I don't know the strategy. I don't. Uh, I can't say. But uh, our action should be in the. Otherwise, we will be reacting. But we should be proactive. I think we are perfectly capable of surviving. Any tsunami can come because we are united and we can work united. Now I have to close our meeting and uh, I uh, ask Aravinda to, ch to have a chant for us to conclude our meeting in a good attitude. Yeah, just one sec, Aravinda. I thank all of you who has come <laughs> against <laughs> the not favorable situation. I thank also all the radio and uh, the people, Suleika included, uh, who has given the technical assistance. And I don't know, the few people on live stream who has listened, who are or on the radio, who has taken the time, the patience, and we hope also the compassion to understand the process we are going through. So thank to all of you and our gratitude for those who continues to believe in our will and who wants the flame to grow. I would read the last hymns of Rig Veda. The translation is, come together all of you, speak in one voice, Know with one mind, even like the gods who of yore knew with one mind and together had their share of enjoyment. Om Sam Gachadvam Sam Vadadvam Sam Vomanan Sijanatam Deva bhagam yatha purve sanjanana upasate samano mantra samiti samani samanam manah sahachittame sham samanam mantram abhimantra yevah Samane Navo Havisha Juhomi Samani Vakuti Samana Hridayani Vah Samana Mastu Voma No Yathavah Susahasati O Thank you so much to everyone. We close our meeting. Thanks. Thank you.